Hey, what's going on guys? Dana from ModBot here and 2019 was a really exciting year for me with uh, 3D printing and my adventures and journeys through it. Uh, it was the first year that I got my hands on a resin 3D printer, starting out with the AlphaWise W10, which taught me so much about 3D printing with uh, resin and all of the curing and all of the model placing and different resins, um, followed up by the Elegoo Mars, which ended up becoming a really popular LCD resin printer, um, one that I still use very, very often. Well, I'm super excited to bring the uh, bring you guys another review of a resin 3D printer in 2020, this time of the longer 3D Orange 30 LCD printer. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about what this machine has to offer, what my experience has been like, and show you guys some prints that came off the machine. Hope you guys are excited. Stay tuned. <music> So if you guys are looking at the Orange 30 and thinking to yourself, man, this looks a lot like the AlphaWise W10 that you reviewed last year. Well, you wouldn't be wrong. And the reasoning for that is that uh, Longer 3D, which are the makers of the Orange 10 and the Orange 30, also make AlphaWise's W10 and their other variation of their machine, which basically is an Orange 30. Um, so the hardware and the firmware are going to be pretty much identical, if not identical. I know the software, um, was slightly different, at least that was branded for AlphaWise, but that is the reason why they look similar. So this is basically the this is basically the upgraded version of the AlphaWise W10 that I reviewed last year, and they did quite a lot of upgrades, which is awesome. Getting this machine, unboxing it, and getting it set up was identical to the AlphaWise W10 that I reviewed last year. Um, everything was the same. So putting the build plate on and leveling the build plate and Getting everything set up was identical, so it didn't um, take me very much time at all. I was up and running in roughly 10, 15 minutes or so. Some of the upgrades on this machine are obvious right away, which I noticed a few of them um, just while setting up the machine. Some of them are not either uh, apparent right away or not necessarily visual on the machine. So those are the kind of the main things I want to cover right away. Um, so the first upgrade I noticed was the little handle or, or uh, screw that holds the build plate in its place. On the original machine, it was using a small um, kind of like thumb screw. And the thing that sucked about that was that if you had resin on your hands or your gloves, or sometimes if it was just on tight and tight, it was difficult to get that off with your hand. Well, on this one, they went with a really big knob, which makes it much easier to grab and take the build plate on and off. Um, so it might not sound like a huge upgrade, but believe me, it is a very welcome one uh, at that. Uh, the second thing I noticed, which was much bigger to me, uh, was that the VAT has been upgraded. So the VAT uses FEP film, which is replaceable, which is awesome. Um, however, on the first one, they seem to use pretty cheap screws that were really small. And so after replacing the FEP film a couple of times, I actually stripped out two of the screws and it's, it, it sucked, that was really unfortunate. Well, on this vat, although it's similar in certain ways, it's got much larger screws, which look um, higher quality 
and um, much more difficult to strip out. And it looks like they kind of just overall redid a little bit the uh, design of their vat, which is awesome. That was one thing, again, that was a gripe for me, and it looks like they definitely machined it much better. So that's another big thumbs up. Another thing that they added is inside of the bottom of the machine is a small carbon filter, which is also fantastic. Resins don't exactly smell the best. Some smell a lot worse than others. Either way, the carbon activated filter will help to keep the odors at a minimum. Um, I've got the machine typically printing in my walk-in closet, so it's not a huge deal, but still not stinking up my whole workshop is always uh, a positive thing. And so having that little filter, I think that is something um, that is gonna be much more common in printers and more of a standard in resin printers uh, moving forward. At least that's just, that's my two cents. I feel like that's what's gonna be happening here. One other huge upgrade is that the AlphaWise W10, which a lot of you guys pointed out and I didn't realize right away, actually used a 480p resolution LCD screen, which is not very high density. Um, I will say that um, with that even being said, that machine was able to produce some really awesome quality prints that were still night and day above what my FDM printer can do. Um, but they have bumped up that 480p LCD screen to a 2K LCD screen, which has a much higher pixel density. So what that means is your um, prints are gonna have more detail, higher resolution, less pixelation around the outsides, which uh, is great with resin 3D printing. I mean, the reason why you're doing it is for tight tolerances, accuracy, and incredible detail. And by having a higher resolution LCD screen, you'll certainly, uh, it'll help you with, with trying to hit those targets or hit those goals. So the last thing that was upgraded, which is not actually on the machine itself, is the software. So the AlphaWise W10 required me to use their AlphaWise software, which at the time um, I didn't have anything to compare it to. So to me it was, yeah, it's okay. I've seen some resin slicers out there. They're all kind of, you know, so-so not as developed as um, FDM based uh, slicers. But since then I have been very spoiled with the Chitu Box slicer, which so many people use. I love it. I dread having to use any other slicer because I just know where things are. The UI and the workflow is so simple. Well, fantastic news with this machine. It is now natively uh, usable with Chitubox. If you download the latest version of that software, it'll actually have the profile for this machine. You click add printer, it loads all the settings that you need, and then you can import your files. It'll export them in the like LGS 30 file format, which is what this machine takes. So that to me is absolutely awesome. So feature wise, spec wise, I think that this machine is night and day superior in quality to that of the AlphaWise W10. I think that Longer 3D did a great job upgrading from the Longer 10, to, or the Orange 10 to the Orange 30. Um, I did some printing with this machine, which is another cool thing. It actually does come with a 250 milliliter bottle of natural or tan, I'd say it's more of a tan resin. Um, so I ran two test prints that were actually on the flash drive. Then I ran another three or four prints um, that I sliced myself over in the Chitu Box software. Once I ran out of that resin, then I poured in a little bit of the Anticubic translucent red model resin, which I love. I think it's a beautiful resin. And I printed out two minis with that, with that resin, which also just turned out absolutely amazing. So uh, I do think it's really cool that they include some resin. I know that um, one of the things that I wish Elegoo would have done with their resins was, or with their machine is throwing a little bit of resin, um, but this machine does come with some resin, which is awesome. and also comes with uh, either one or two spare FEP sheets, which is also just a huge plus. That is very cool of them to do that. So um, yeah, whether you are looking to get into resin 3D printing or just add a second machine to your already, um, you know, resin printing lineup, Certainly this is a awesome machine. I think that, like I said, they are doing all the right things. Um, if there is one gripe that carried over from the original AlphaWise W10 and their Orange 10 machine, it is the top of the, um, this, this acrylic top is not my favorite. Um, the reason being is it comes as five separate panels. You have to peel the cover off of them. They kind of slot together and then you use two or three of these like rubber elastic bands to hold it together. I think I mentioned it in my AlphaWise W10 review, but 
It feels cheap, it's kind of a pain to put together, and I just wish that they could give you one solid piece that you put on top. Uh, it doesn't affect print quality, it's more of probably a personal thing, I don't think maybe anybody else would really bug them, but I, if you guys make another version, I really hope that it's got one solid lid. I'd be willing to pay a little bit extra. I think most people would, but I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. Um, again, aside from that small thing, though, the machine... The machine's fantastic. I will link you guys in the description or in the in the description of the video to where you can find out more information or purchase one for yourself. If there is anything about this machine that I did not cover, please let me know in the comments down below. I will do my absolute best to uh, respond back, and if I don't know the answer, to find out the answer for you. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I make a video every single week. I'm at least trying to stick to that. And uh, if you want to support the channel, links will be down below to my Patreon, where there is some really sweet rewards and all that money goes back to helping me um, be able to make more content for you guys which I really enjoy doing so on that note I will see you guys in my next video and I am out peace guys